Ah, uh, I forgot about this. The hot potato. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. In the last episode, Impulse managed to sneak this thing into my inventory, and I have to put on a resource pack which he has given me. So, let's do that right now. It's called Joke Pack Version 4. It's been through four versions? Doesn't seem that different. Wait. Nothing seems that different. Now I'm gonna be- Oh, uh, wait. Oh, wait. Okay, there's- there's some things that are different. Path blocks are lava. And there's random dirt- Oh. <laughs> the shulker boxes are dirt blocks. Oh, that's gonna be really annoying. Okay, so for one full episode, and what is going on here? They've changed- is this water? They've changed water to cranberry juice. Cranberry juice? How weird. Um, okay, so there's a few things to get- There's a few things to get used to. Oh, that's gonna freak me right out. Yeah, so the path blocks are lava. Shulker boxes are dirt, and I'm sure there's gonna be other things that I'm totally gonna find out along the way. Why is there half a fish? I think out of everything, that's the weirdest thing. What is it? Wait. All of the poppies are now salmon. That's really weird. Okay. So, if you see something weird in this episode, it's probably the hot potato punishment. But speaking of the hot potato, we will actually have to try and get this into somebody else's inventory in this episode. We can't... We can't be dealing with this forever, so I'm gonna have to think of something. So we'll probably do that a bit later in the episode, because I haven't got any ideas right now, or a method to sneak it into anyone's inventory. And also, no one's on the server. There's no one here, it's it's literally just me, on my own, because everyone is away at Minecon Live. So, I'm gonna have to wait for people to get back anyways. Right, so let's crack on with today's episode. We've got quite a lot to do. I've been doing some stuff in the background in this barrel. <laughs> I promise you these are not dirt blocks. These are actually all shulker boxes. All shulker boxes. As you can see, they are full of dyes. I have one of each color. And they're actually dyed. Why isn't my pickaxe working? The reason that I got all of these dyes is because I have quite a lot of work to do over at Sahara. That's right, it's time to go full business mode back at Sahara. Why can't I fly? Wait, hold on. Firework, golden carrot. Ah, oh, golden... My... <sighs> my golden carrots and rockets have been swapped around. Oh my goodness, there's cranberry juice everywhere. <laughs> Uh, this is gonna take some getting used to. In fact, I don't think I'm going to get used to this at all. As I was saying, we've got a lot of business to take care of at Sahara. Since I've been a hippie, it's been slightly neglected. And if we open this, we have got... We've been paid in coal, but it looks like someone has bought another Sahara Now membership. No, these are diamonds. There's a lot of texture changes. There's a lot of texture changes. Wait. Oh. These are actually- Coal and diamonds have been swapped. <sighs> this is gonna be an absolute nightmare. How am I meant to do it? Look at all the dirt in my inventory. <laughs> this is a nightmare. But if that means- Wait, hold on. No, yeah. Fireworks are carrots, and carrots are fireworks. Oh, boy. Right, let's go back to Sahara. I've probably chosen the wrong day to have this punishment take place. This is going to be so confusing. For those of you that don't really know what a resource pack is, it changes the texture and names of things in-game. So, this is just going to confuse me. And it's probably going to confuse you as well. Ah, Sahara Sweet Sahara is out of deals again. So, we're also going to have to make some more Sahara Now deals. But, I think, if we look over here, this is our thing. Oh, oh, Mumbo's made a lot of coal. I've also made a lot of coal. I sold four Sahara Nows. And Iskal has also sold a lot of, a lot of coal. But I just sold another one. Meaning, I am in the lead. I don't know how many. Wait, how many we sold? One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We've made 1,100 diamonds from this project. This is amazing. But we do need to stock up on the Sahara Now deals. Anyway, the place I was going is over here. Because 
Oh, I keep getting confused. Okay, these dirt blocks are meant to be dyes because this is a concrete maker that Iskow's made and he's asked me to get all the dyes that we need to make what is going on here with the water. I'm guessing all I've got to do is fill up all of these boxes with the correct dyes. Yeah, this was a really bad day to turn all of my shulker boxes into dirt because I can't tell... Look at this. I can't tell what color's what. Okay, so let's fast forward this because I think this is going to take a really long time. I've only actually shown you a small bit. Uh, don't tell his scout, but I actually accidentally put most of the dyes in the wrong box and I had to go behind the scenes, take it all out and put it back in again. So it took even longer than I expected. Oh, man, he didn't make this easy, did he? Oh, okay. They are all loaded up with the correct one. I messed up, as you probably could have seen by the time lapse, that uh, I put all of these in the wrong one because it's the box on the left and I was putting it on the box on the right because it's the box on the right on this one, but the box on the left on this one. It confusing, Iskal. Okay, so I think it's not loaded up with enough gravel and sand. So even though I've supplied all of the right dyes, it definitely doesn't have enough of the other stuff that I need for this. So I'm going to see if I can find some sand and gravel to load this up with. It looks like we've run completely out of gravel, so I'm going to have to go and collect some more mana. Iskal may have done the, the redstone part of this, but there's still a, there's a lot of collecting involved. I guess that's where I come in. Anyway, while we're here, I noticed that Iskal didn't get rid of this our lovely telescope to check on our friend. Now, we desperately do need to check on our friend because he's been sighted. Our, our, our friend with, you know, feathers and eggs has been, he's been seen. Uh, he was seen on one of Impulse's videos. Look. Now it's right here. This is gonna be the door. What is, what is happening? <gasps> No! Poultry man? What? So, I thought I would check up on him to see if he's still there. Nope. No. There's nobody there. Ha. Huh. It looks like he's returned. We'll have to keep an eye out for him. But we must continue our quest to sort out this gravel. Alright, I know it looks like I've just collected a bunch of dirt, but each one of these is a shulker box of sand or gravel. And this is exactly what we need to put in this machine here. And I've also been instructed how to use this, it's all very exciting. Okay. So, now, we've... Sand? G gravel? <laughs> Iskel has gone and made some changes to this because I noticed a, a slight bug with it and he came and fixed it because basically these things were just bouncing back and it, it wasn't working properly. So, while I was collecting this, Iskel fixed this and now it's time to craft up some concrete. And the goal here, by the way, for those of you that aren't sure what we're doing here, we're going to stock Sahara with concrete, which is actually the first shop to actually sell concrete. It's amazing because everyone loves these blocks, but no one actually sells them. So this is a good business venture. Let's get cracking with it. And we let it do its thing. Oh, I also need to flick all of the this is like a dream come true. I get to flick all the levers. And that starts loading up all of these. There's a lot of admin involved in order to get this to work, but the second that that's out of the way, we are flying. Iskal! I need an adult. It, it, it's, it's broken. I need someone that knows redstone. What have I done wrong? I, nothing. I've done nothing wrong. I'll tell you what. I'll do forward slash summon Iskal. He, he knows what he's doing. He knows. He's, he's, he's fixed it. There was something wrong. He said this piston was powered. All right, problem solved, issue resolved. Time to keep on loading stuff in. I think it's stuck again. It's gal. It's it's gal. I stand here next to the crafting tables. I select what color I want to make. We'll make white concrete since it's right there. 
It then comes up. I then find it in here somewhere. Oh, I'm pretty sure that cyan terracotta is not supposed to be there. Now, I'm, I'm no redstone expert, but I don't think that's meant to be there. There you go. Then that gives me exactly what I need to craft that up. I press it again. It gives me everything I need to craft it. I need to learn where this thing is. There we go. And basically, you keep pressing exactly what you need. I guess I can press as many as I like. Ooh. 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 <laughs> oh, 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 no. <laughs> no, too many. Too many. Too many. I, mistakes. I can't craft it fast enough. Uh-oh. <laughs> this isn't good. <laughs> this is what happens when you get carried away. Okay, so I think the lesson learned today is one at a time. This girl just joined. Oh, thank goodness he didn't see what I just did. Okay, so now that we have some concrete powder, I've been told all I need to do is stand here and right click. Like that. And then it loads it into the machine. I believe, which is what it's doing now. I'm confused. What the heck? The here, Brian. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's totally just a zombie, right? Yeah, that's a, that's a that scared me. Oh no! So it pushes it down, blows it up, goes down the water stream, and then it should end up up here as it comes around. Brilliant. So now. I literally just have to stand here for a few hours to make all this stuff up. <sighs> Alright, I guess I'll see you guys in a few hours time. Okay, this is pretty cool. You can't really tell because I'm mostly creating white concrete, but if you look carefully you can see that it's kind of like 3D printing the concrete downwards and then you, it's going so fast this time lapse that you can't even see the TNT exploding but it's destroying it as it reaches down what the bottom and then it all falls down and ends up in the barrel. It's, it's awesome. <sighs> I've only been doing this for 84 years and we're just about finished. Oh, let's turn this off. There we go. Uh, there's there's concrete galore in here. I have been storing some concrete here. And oh, I've got a bunch of it in here. Some in here. Like, there is a lot of concrete. This took a really long time to get together. In fact, it took 84 years. I'm now an old man. <laughs> I've got a beard. It took so long. <sighs> um, yeah. So now I'm an old man. I also have produced some Sahara Now boxes. So what I've got is only five, actually, only five boxes, because the truth is I'm, I'm running out of stuff. I, I don't actually have much to put in. If, I, if we go over the Cranberry Sea, the firework got me again. If we go over the Cranberry Sea into my base to look at my chest monster that we've got going on here, there's not a lot of useful blocks going on. Not a lot that I can actually put in a Sahara Now box, so... Yeah, this isn't good. There's not, there's not a lot of really useful things. However, I have managed to scrimp and save, and I have managed to produce five boxes. So let's price these up. The biggest one is this, the box of white concrete. Now, we're going to be stocking this at Sahara for two diamonds per stack. So let's price all of these up. Concrete is going to be 25 diamonds because that's just under half price. The glass is, is, is not caught, not sand anymore, six diamonds. Ice is awesome, five diamonds. The sand is five diamonds. And the rockets, which are actually golden carrots because of the resource pack, they are going to be 10 diamonds. And this actually gives me a really good idea. I know how I'm going to get rid of this, the hot potato. And I know what my next punishment's going to be, the person who ends up with this hot potato. So, let's rename this. Hot potato, speak to Grian. There we go. And how we're going to get rid of this is we're going to use Sahara Now. Sahara Now is so popular, we can't even stock it. So, what I'm going to do is put in all of these. There we go. Now, what I'm gonna do is actually rig this so that if you press this button, it launches one of those out. 
Now, and it's actually going to drop her the hot potato right here. So while they're cycling through it and they hear all the buttons and the beeps and the boops, they probably won't notice this sneak into their inventory. So I'm actually gonna have to do something quite dangerous here. These are golden carrots, yeah, okay. I'm gonna have to break in. I'm gonna have to break in here and I'm gonna need to take a redstone output from this machine that I don't know how it works. This is dangerous. So I need to take, I need to take this redstone torch because when you hit that, that goes off. So if I take it by doing that, there we, yes. Okay, so I can take the output from this and then bring it underneath this thing here. Oh, this is genius. This is absolutely genius, I tell you. I take the dropper, pop that there, pop the hot potato in the hopper. Put that on there. There's no need for any carpet. As long as this is powered, this should work. So in theory, look at that! Look at that! That is the simplest hot potato ever, but this should, in theory, work. Okay, so let's just pretend that I'm shopping. I'm shopping at Sahara, right? I come in here and let's I have to have something in my hand. Let's let's pretend I have a full inventory. Now this is a bit of a risk and by a bit this is a huge risk because if I have a full hot bar then I'm not going to notice. Oh my goodness. I didn't notice that at all. You cannot tell that that goes in. But there is a risk if I have an empty hand it goes straight into my hand and I'm going to get caught. So there's a big risk with this one, but there always is with the hot potato. There always is. So I just need to hope that the person that comes and shops here has absolutely a full, well, maybe inventory, bar a few places. And then when they go ahead and they open this, they might notice it there. <laughs> this is going to be good. So I think as long as they don't notice it go in their hand, they've, they've been got. So this is good. Right, so I've re- I just hot potatoed myself, trying to, trying to check the deals. Okay, well, we, I think we've just confirmed this works. So yeah, anyway, let's have a look. We got the golden carrots here, and we got the ice. Yeah, like I, I've stocked this thing up. I've stocked up well a little bit. So let's hope that this works. Hot potato in there. Leave it be. Job is done. Whoa. It's just flying above here. And there's like a golden there's a there's a golden nugget on the floor. How do I how do I pick it up? How do I How do I beat this thing? How do I win? Hello? How do I get how do I get the nugget? Oh! Treasure token. Gold nugget, okay. Um I have no idea what these are for. That's weird. I wonder what these are for. Treasure token. Is there a treasure hunt on the server? Is there a treasure hunt? Oh, there's another one! There's another one! Okay, how do I... These are a bit of a pain to get. Yeah, there's another treasure token. There's got to be some more around here. Oh, wow! Oh, wow. Okay, so that's why there's fish. That's terrifying. I need to find some more. There we go, there's another one! Oh, this is fun. Uh, do they lead somewhere? Where's the next one then? There was one along here. Is it this direction? I feel like if this is a- this is like a treasure hunt thing. Oh look! Yeah, yeah, yeah! There's another one! Oh, this is so exciting. I think the trail's gone cold. I've been looking around for the next one, but I don't see it. Maybe I went the wrong way? I don't know, this is weird. Oh no, no, no! There's another one! I don't see any more, and they don't seem to lead anywhere, so I'm not sure what- Oh, no, wait, I found another one. They're everywhere! They- these are not in a line. I- I'm really not sure what these are about. I guess I'll just hold on to these for a while. I'm not sure- I hope I'm not spoiling anything by picking these up. Either way, I'm gonna head back to Hermitland. Oh, I'm still an old man. I think I'm gonna have to be an old man for the rest of this episode. I'm gonna head back to Hermitland. Now, I know we've done quite a lot of Sahara-related architect things, but uh, I've been so busy being a hippie that, honestly, I haven't really had the time. And a lot of you will be wondering, why did it take me a week to upload a video? 
because I saw quite a few comments saying, when's the next upload, Grian? Well, I have been extraordinarily busy in real life, but not to worry, there's more episodes to come. We are now back at it. Lots of people were over in doing the Minecon Live panel, and it, it's kind of been it's kind of been empty on the server. So I thought I'd take a little bit of a break, get some stuff done in the real world before I dive back into the Minecraft one. Because I actually have a very, very, very big idea for the next thing to do on Hermitcraft, and it's going to be amazing. That was a that was a good travel talk, wasn't it? <laughs> but I'm not going to share the idea just yet because I need to make sure that everyone wants to get involved before I do it because this is going to be a really big server thing. Oh, the reason that I was coming over here is because I was wondering if there's anything over in Hippie Land here that I can use to make uh, another Sahara Now box because look, I've got several chest monsters over here and I've actually got a whoa, I a, a what? Uh, chickens? What have they done to my chickens? And why are the eggs arrows? Oh, that's weird. No, I don't like that. No, I don't like that. I will be glad to be rid of this resource pack. My punishment is nearly over. And my punishment for the next person who finds the hot potato. Well, let's just say quack. So, I can't wait to see who gets the hot potato, but it's gonna be funny, but quack is the only thing that I'm gonna say to you. Right, let's- let's see what's going on here, I want to get a good look at- Oh, no! Oh! Oh, they're fa- Oh, they're faceless! They're hideous! Wait, they're me! They're green chickens! Oh, I don't know what they mean by this! That I, I I hope they don't mean to insinuate anything that gr I have anything to do with poultry. Not I don't I don't like that insinuation at all, at all. I I'll, I'll have you know I have absolutely nothing. I have no problem with killing chickens. I uh, this this doesn't affect me whatsoever. No sir, no siree. Oh, oh that scared me. Either way, it doesn't... It doesn't look like I have much to actually contribute in terms of a Sahara Now box. So I think I'm going to have to just leave it at, at five boxes. Yeah, look at all this junk. No, there's nothing useful here. And what about here? Yeah, absolute nonsense junk. Okay, I think we may actually have to do some item collecting at some point because it's it's not looking good let's leave let's leave hippie land for now and check out what's new in the hermit land deposit your nuggets there's nuggets right here what is this nfd i don't know what this means diamonds out deposit throw it in here well that hasn't worked in here Oh, there's music! Ah, I got coal. No, wait! Coals are diamonds! I got a diamond! It's very hard to get excited about coal. <laughs> Even though I know that this is a diamond. Look, it says underneath, Minecraft diamond. Just because it looks like a coal, it's hard to get excited. Okay, so it is a treasure hunt. You find these nuggets, you pop them in here, and then you get a, a good old jingle. Oh, we got a diamond block. This is a money printing machine. No, wait. No, wait. Diamond blocks are real. Oh. This is so exciting. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, nothing. Okay. Oh, man. This is this is the best. Dun, dun, dun. Ah. Oh. No, okay, okay, okay. One more. Two more. We got two more. Two more nuggets. Oh, nothing. Last one. Dun, dun, dun. Go on. Go on. Yay, we got another diamond or a coal. Oh, that was so good. So we got, we got, man, we got 11 diamonds for, for doing nothing. That's amazing. And there's, there's these nuggets absolutely everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> Hard to, someone's glued this to the floor. There we go. This is so exciting. 
Well, I guess I'm gonna be collecting a few tokens. There's, there's another one on the floor. They're everywhere. Okay, I need to leave some for everyone else. So I'm not, I'm not gonna, look, I can see three. One, two, and there's one over there, three. But I've, I've got to be, I've got to be selfless here and let everyone else find a token. So we're gonna do this one last token and we're gonna leave the rest for everyone else to find. All right, last, last token. Dun, 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 dun. Ah. Well, that's a sad note to end this episode on. I am that we've actually, despite it being a bit of a, a tech heavy episode, we've actually got quite a lot done. We restocked Sahara now. We've passed on the hot potato. I am fed up of this resource pack. In fact, as it is the end of the episode, I will take off the resource pack. There we go. Ah. Oh. End of the episode, everything is back to normal, we are back on track, we are recording Hermitcraft, we are having fun, we have made a lot of concrete, we have stocked up Sahara now, we've got rid of the hot potato, and we even have seen that our feathered friend has, he's, he's, he seems to be lurking around. So keep an eye out for Poultry Man everyone, he might be making a return. Alright, thank you very much for watching as always, and good bye!